Hey, today I'm making some burritos out of these ingredients, which are onions, serrano chile, tomato, eggs, and some nopales. Here I am cutting the onion up, just a rough chop. Don't stress about it. Now I'm taking the serrano chili, cutting off the stems and just rough chopping it as well. If you want it thinner, dice it, just use your discretion on the chops. Next, I'm chopping the tomatoes. I like to de-seed them. So here I am quartering them, de-seeding, and then I will be chopping, dicing them into small little pieces. Now here we are cutting up um, the nopales. I'm just slicing them roughly here. Um, I wash them before I slice them and I get these packaged up from the grocery store. After slicing them up, here I am deciding to dice them up. I need smaller pieces for my eggs with nopales. On a heated pan, here I'm using cast iron, I throw in my nopales and let them sizzle away. Once they start sizzling, mix them around a little bit and then add your salt to taste. Don't forget your morning coffee. So here I am mixing the nopales around, making sure they're a little dried up and start to char, changing in a darker green color. I will be adding the onions, the chili, and the tomatoes. Crack your eggs in a bowl, salt them to taste, and whisk them up till they're all mixed and the egg is well incorporated. Don't forget to mix. The pan is getting a little dry, so instead of adding oil, I like to add water to steam up the mixture a little bit and cook it down some more. Now I'm taking my comal here to heat it up while I'm finishing with the mixture. Continue mixing. I push it all to the side, so I like to add my egg in the middle so it can start cooking there before I mix everything together. Mix the egg and nopal together and keep mixing until egg and nopales are well incorporated and cooked to your liking. My final step here is adding some dried cilantro because I didn't have any fresh. So if you have fresh, add the fresh. Now it's time to build the burritos. I added a flour tortilla to my grill, my comal. I turn it. I like my tortillas a little charred, so it just depends on your taste. So here I'm putting my tortilla over the foil because this is a to-go burrito. I added some grated cheese at the bottom and then the mixture on top of the cheese. Need some more mixture. A little bit more. Now fold in the two sides and then roll it into the last side. Roll the foil together and that'll keep your burrito warm. And here you go, nopal and egg burritos and some coffee.